I see. Okay. Thanks for trying, Samster. I will be on standby until then. Goodbye. What did he say? Are you able to get your job back? No, Shaggy. Samster is fighting my boss Tooth and Nail, but so far he hasn't had any luck yet. He told me to be on standby until he is able to achieve results. In other words, you're screwed. Somewhat Scooby. I literally had to sell my work clothes just to try and obtain some money, just like Shaggy had to sell his little scarab positions. I'm lucky to still have my car after the financial slaughter last month. Thank God for Hudson. If it wasn't for them we would have been living in our cars about now. No kidding. All thanks to Fred for putting us into this situation last month. Agreed. I don't know what's worse, the fact that we actually did great for ourselves without him, or the fact that he sabotaged us. He owes us a lot of money for his actions, but right now let's not think about it. Shaggy I'm going down to the casino, do you and Scooby wish to accompany me? Thanks Daphne, but Scoob and I will just hand here. The two of us had a nightmare lugging all of our things here, and we need a break today. Oh yeah, that's right I forgot about that. Seriously Daphne, you had a lot of clothes that we had to carry up here. My paws are still numb. I understand boys, you two rest a fair. I will be downstairs if you need me. You got it Daphne. Come on Scoob let's go watch some TV. Christ, me getting a concussion timed by those three idiots is getting on my nerves they must really be asking for a death wish. Wait a minute, that's it, I don't have to give a concussion time to those idiots, all I have to do is continue to sabotage them to the point that they lose everything ha ha ha. It would be the ultimate revenge for trying to steal my image, but first let's go and see how those idiots are doing now after over a month. Yeah, sure Daphne. I wish you the very best of luck in the casino. I pray that you can make enough to pay off the hotel. Don't worry Fred will not know anything. Goodbye. Wow, I can't believe Fred sabotaged Daphne Shaggy and Scooby. If they can't pay off the Hudson by tonight, the three could end up homeless and living in their cars. Fred must never know. Otherwise Shaggy Scooby and Daphne are doomed. Know what? What the heck is going on in here? Oh, nothing special. Whatever you idiot, I'm off to the bar. Yeah yeah yeah, whatever, make sure you don't come back until you drink yourself to death you heathen. Normally I would give a concussion time about now, but I'm not going to this time, because that idiot has no idea I ever heard the entire conversation, ha ha ha. Time to bring out the mystery machine. Ha 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 ha. It won't be long now, all I have to do is sabotage Shaggy Scooby and Daphne one more time, and it's over for them. It would be the ultimate revenge for those three idiots giving me a concussion time and trying to take over my role for dominance in this gang. Now, let's listen to some real music to celebrate the eventual downfall of those three idiots. We got the power to be loving each other no matter what happens. We got the power to do that. The dreams are small, my dreams don't know fear I got my heart full of hope, I will change everything No matter what I'm told, how impossible it seems We did it before and we'll do it again We're indestructible, even when we're tired And we've been here before, just you and I Don't try to rescue me Good to be back here again, now to put my plans into action There you go. Are you okay miss? You look both hurt and desperate. Is something wrong? I'm okay. Thanks for asking Jade. It's just, me Shaggy and Scooby have been going through difficult times. Really? What happened? Well, some jerk sabotaged the three of us, first by putting us in debt last month, then damaged my friend's car weeks later causing me to go and get them, losing my job in the process. We got so far in debt, that we lost everything. All we have left is Hudson, and I am playing the casino in hopes of winning enough money to allow the three of us to stay permanently. We have until tonight to pay it off. If we don't pay off the grand bill by tonight, Shaggy, Scooby and I will, 
be evicted and forced to live in our cars. That is so messed up. Who the hell is the jerk that put you three into debt anyway? He goes by the name Fredward Jones. He is my, or used to be, gang leader. The jerk put me and Shaggy in debt by buying $11,533 worth of moonshine. Oh my gosh. I just served the monster that hurt these three last month. What do I do? What do I say? Jade, are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm so sorry, Miss Blake. I was the one who served those four bottles of moonshine to Fred last month, but I didn't know who he was. I thought he was just a random guy. It's fine, Jade. You didn't know. You know, Miss Blake, you and your friends remind me of somebody I know. I have a friend of mine who lives out in southern Florida, a man who I am very protective of. He is in the same rod as you, Shaggy and Scooby, but he is not in debt. He is just very poor. And if a person did to him what they did to you three, I would be in prison for murder. Wow, I never knew about that. Who is your friend? He goes by the name Rivera. I was a huge fan of his videos on YouTube since 2013. When I was a little girl, I didn't talk to him until 2018, where he allowed me to voice act. He was responsible for all the wonderful things that happened to me and led to the start of my career in voice acting something I still do today. No wonder you're protective of him. Word. Well I have to go, I have to start trying to see if I can win some money before the deadline. Thank you for the words of wisdom Jade, here is a $50 tip, you earned it. Thanks Miss Blake, good luck. Okay, what should I do? The slot machines? No, no one ever wins those. Poker? No, I'm not good with that. Are you interested in a game of chance? You look familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? Where is Ureo Peso? I am Rodriguez Santomal, demos noble player in all of Hudson. Oh, okay then, what's the game? Dice. Dice? That sounds fun, although I've never played it before. A ver no fair senora, justo así sayan you will be fine. Okay, I'll do it. Excellent, take a seat senora, and be ready to win millions. Very good, now let's win some money. Al Ryu senora, the rules are simple, if you roll a dice with a 7, you win, and it in el se you lo se. Okay give me the dice, I'll try. Good luck. Come on dice, mommy needs to pay her bills. Sorry miss you lo sé, you rolled a 9. Nuts. A ver no fair senora, te reare more chances tri again. Okay. An 11, you lo sé again. Damn it. Tri again. Okay fine. Well thank you for playing Senora, but you have no more money, and it is the end of my time of your glorious night madam. It's over, I lost every game. The rest of the money Shaggy, Scooby and I had left is gone, we're going to be homeless. <laughs> what a sucker. <laughs> it's over. Those three morons are finished. They have nothing left in their account now. Time to go home and celebrate. Miss Blake, are you okay? What's wrong? Did you win the money you needed? Money? What money? Jade, I, I have no more money. What? No, there has to be an explanation. There is none. The last of the shaggy scooby and my money was lost in the casino. By the way Jade, who is that to your right? My name is Zane Miss Blake. I am Jade's boyfriend. And I have to say that this is just tragic. I've watched you and the rest of the Scooby gang on TV as a child. I'm proud that you used to watch us on TV. But unfortunately, it's over. Shaggy Scooby and my money is all gone now. Lost every game in the casino. So now, we have to prepare to leave. I'm so sorry Miss Blake. This is just so emotional for me. Can I ask you something Miss Blake? What game is it that you lost in the casino? Chance. Chance? No, that's not possible. You had to win at least one roll off, right? I've won nothing. I lost every time. I could never get a 7. Who exactly was the gamer who challenged you to chance? I think he went by the name Rodriguez Santomal. Rodriguez Santomal? Miss Blake, I've been in this casino for 7 years, and I have to tell you, there is no one in the Hudson Casino staff with that name. What? Daphne is everything alright down here. It's getting late. We got worried when you never came up, so we decided to come down looking for you. Did you win enough for us to completely pay off the Hudson? Afraid not boys, I lost all of it, 
to a dice game called Chance. What? We lost all $4,924. Tag's all we had left. And you never won a single game? No, I haven't. We're finished. We're completely screwed. I'm afraid so. He even oddly enough left behind the dice he used, which is odd. I thought gamers were required by casino regulations to always bring them in once their shift had ended. Wait a minute. You said he left the dice behind? May I see those dice? Sure. I was going to give them back to the casino anyway. Here you go. Thanks. I knew it. Zane, what is it? Yeah, what is it? Miss Blake, those are loaded dice. Cheat dice. They are designed for players to automatically lose, giving an edge to the cheater. You were scammed. I can't believe I got scammed. This is outrageous. I don't believe this crap one bit. So that stupid Rodriguez stole everything from Shaggy, Scooby and I. I swear he will pay. I get the feeling that Rodriguez sent him all doesn't exist. Wait here, I'm notifying the manager. Have no fear Miss Blake. We will get to the bottom of this right away. It's been over a half hour and still nothing. Don't worry Scooby. I'm sure the staff will inform us soon. I sure hope he. Everyone we found out the identity of the person who scammed you three. It was your former leader, Fred Jones. Of course it was. Why am I not surprised? Come on, let's go over there and give him another concussion. Actually, there is no need for that. What? what? My boyfriend's father is a lawyer. If you want, I can bring Fred to court where you three can sue him for his actions. Wait, are you saying that you can help us get all of the money that Fred drained from his back? I sure can. Oh, when my boss says that you three are waived at the grand bill, you can stay here. Yay, we still get to stay. Now let's sue the pants off of Fred and end this once and for all.